The teachers and parents here say they're being pushed around by a Secretary of State who's turning into a class bully when it comes to forcing schools like this to convert to private academies despite their improving results. These foundation trusts and these educational trusts are one step towards being private companies, uh, one step towards education for profit and we're fundamentally, politically, opposed to that. This school is Sanford Community School and we want this stay as a community school because our children's future is safe if this school stays in the local council control and these private institutions, their motive is profit. Almost every member of the teaching staff has been on the picket lines for each of the two strike days with other unions coming to show their support or phoning in solidarity messages. Of course, strikes like this are not just about academy conversions because both unions are battling local administrators and central government over everything from classroom inspections to regional pay and their pensions. What may be more significant about this strike is that both unions are out at the same time and out together. NASUT and NUT are standing jointly against this, uh, this imposed change to protect the best interests of the community, to protect children, protect a school that, as you can see from the, the very good results, is achieving and aspiring to all the, the highest standards in terms of teaching and learning. The unions hope that coordinating their campaign with parents and the wider community will help them defeat the academy plan. One of the things we want is for you know, parents to start asking questions. We also want the IEB to actually withdraw and the, to allow the local authority to put in an IEB of its own, which it wanted to do, which can then look at the way forward for this, for this school and conduct a proper consultation, one that doesn't actually include the sponsor who supposedly hasn't even taken over yet. The local Labour-run council is mounting a legal challenge to the imposition of an interim governing board and critics say the record of similar conversions elsewhere means they believe now that they can win this fight despite what Michael Gove tells them. Pete Murray, Union News, Derby.